Well, then my client will suffer a financial loss because of his injuries. No question about it. It's uh, it's going to be quite a number of weeks before he's able to get back to work. Dr. Quartermain's office. Oh, Dr. Monica Quartermain? I'm sorry. This is Dr. Alan Quartermain's office. Well, you're welcome. You know, Alan, when I was coming in, I heard Monica's name being paged all over this hospital. Mm -hmm. Dr. Quartermain's office? No, Dr. Monica Quartermain is not here. Wait, I'll have, to, I'll have you transferred. You were saying, Alan? I'm sorry, what? About my client's injuries. Oh, yeah, no question about it. Would you be willing to appear in court on behalf of my client and your patient? Well, I was hoping that a deposition would... Yes, I'm sure Dr. Quartermain will be delighted to pay our client's compliments about Monica's lead article in the medical journal. Well, I'll make a note. Oh, I'm to say brilliant article. I'll do it. And thank you. You know what? This woman has written an article for a national medical journal, and you would think she'd rewritten the American Constitution. Is the meeting over? Well, uh, unless you got a couple of free minutes. Well, it may be too soon to talk about this, but I thought this might be of interest to a doctor of your stature. A doctor of my stature? <laughs> okay, I got a couple of minutes. Sunshine? Hi. Hi, baby. Your favorite godfather's here, and he brought a little friend. Look at here. Oh, it was a marathon workout, but you were absolutely terrific. Well, thank you very much. And you look tired. Why don't you make it an early day? Are there any messages, George? Oh, have we ever got messages for you? There have been calls coming in all morning about that article of yours in that prestigious medical journal. Oh, well, uh, nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Anything for me, Georgia? Not a thing, Bobby. Oh, there is one other message for you, Monica. I haven't had a chance to write it down. What is it? It's an invitation to lunch with doctors... Jones, O'Connor, Tom Hardy, Woodruff, and Carter. With lunch <laughs> on them. You are the guest of honor. Well, um, you can tell every single one of them that I accept. I'd love to go. Thank you. <laughs> Bobby? Do I get the feeling that you haven't uh, heard from Jake? No, I haven't heard from Jake. I guess that's why you're offering for me to leave with no big thrill. It's very lonely at the brownstone without him. Well, listen, maybe today will be the day you'll hear from him. Maybe. I'm grabbing at straws. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe. Good. Well, hello, Tiffany. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, Tiffany. Fine. Are you here to see a patient? No, actually, I'm uh, here to see Sean. We're going to have uh, either a light lunch or well, something as soon as he finishes with Robin. Oh, uh, do you know how she's doing? I don't think there's any change. I mean, that's why Sean's here. He's trying to do something. I mean, she's the only person that can help figure out what happened at Duke's house that night. Well, I know that she's very close with Sean. Hopefully, he'll make a breakthrough. Yeah, absolutely. Well, perhaps this isn't the time to go into it. Well, I don't know what's on your mind. Well, you know, it's funny. What's funny? Nothing has changed around here. What do you mean? Well, at the hospital, the same old people are running it. Steve and Dan and your father are still riding her on board of directors. Yeah, well, my father's pretty well got the position nailed down, doesn't he? 
Yeah, but what surprises me the most is they haven't found someone that's young and vital and brilliant like yourself. You should be chief of staff now. You're absolutely right. I should be chief of staff. But it's a matter of politics, isn't it? You know what else surprises me? I don't think I should go into it, though. Go on, say what's on your mind. Well, Monica, I, she gets, like, star billing around here. Let me tell you something, Scott. If you blow your horn enough, somebody eventually is going to listen. Now, you know what my problem is? Well, I can't imagine. I don't blow my horn enough. Well, then you need somebody behind you that really understands your full capabilities. I got my mother. No, I'm serious. <laughs> Come on. Alan, we live in a jungle. Yes, we do. So let us be serious then for one moment and you tell me exactly what's on your mind. You're very busy and I don't want to take up your time. Scott, sit down and tell me what's on your mind. Okay. You say so. Georgia, could you file it for oh, me, please? Oh, yes, certainly. Thanks. Tiffany! Hi! Hi, Tony. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm glad I ran into you. What can I, I do? I wanted to thank you again for helping Lucy launch the daycare center. Oh, let me tell you, besides making all that money, it was a very good spot on my show, you know? I think we might get a few gold stars for our public service. Mm -hmm. Well, it also helped with Lucy's self-confidence. Well, I didn't know that she needed help in that area. You know what I mean. Yeah, I guess I do. So, is there anything I can do to help you? No, I'm just waiting for Sean. He's up with Robin now. Yeah, I heard she's still in a state of shock. Oh, yes, the poor child. And not communicating with anybody. No, that's what Sean's up there now, trying to get her to do something. Well, Tom Hardy is working with her, and he's very good. What about the investigation? Has Robert found out anything? You know, I haven't heard the latest on it. Maybe Sean has heard something. Yeah, I felt so bad about Philomena. Wasn't it horrible? You know, and now that Philomena is gone, Robin is the only person that can, can identify or even describe who abducted Anna. Now, is it not kidnapping? We well, haven't got a ransom note. But you know, every day that goes by, it's just worse for her. I know it is. Damn. How long has Sean been with Robin? Oh, really not that long. I don't know how long he's going to be up there, but I think, you know, now that Sean is Robin's only god by the now that Chris comes out of town, and I think if anybody can break through, he can. Well, yeah, how's my little girl today, huh? Hmm? She had a good breakfast, huh? Did you? Uh, yes, indeed, I bet you did. <laughs> you know, you're a pretty lucky little girl. Did you know that? You have all these adventures in Port Charles. Remember those? Hmm? Do you, baby? Remember the, the one in the Asian Quarter? Remember that one? That's when a gang was trying to take over the Asian Quarter. Remember that? And you were the big help in one of the biggest mysteries of that whole adventure. Remember? <laughs> Each side wanted the mysterious black pearl. Remember that? Hmm? <laughs> you were the only one who had it. Although you didn't know you had it. Because it was in one of the eyes of your doll. Remember that? Oh, and you were so brave. You got kidnapped, too, didn't you? And you were brave then, too. You were, you were such a big help to us, sweetheart. You know, in fact, in fact, Frisco said to me, he said, you know, Sean, Robin was the biggest help in that whole adventure. That was really something. You know what else would be something, baby? If you could help Daddy find Mommy. Hmm? What? Remember last summer? <laughs> Why, well, was, that was fun, too. That was a big adventure. That's when you had to hide out in my secret room, and you had your computer, and you wanted to play miniature spy, and you were so good at it. And you are so brave. In fact, I think you're the bravest little girl I've ever seen. You know that? Hmm? You know that? 
Can you give me a... Hello? Yes? Hi. Hi. Well, have you been having a nice visit with Sean? Yeah. I see. Well, you know what, sweetheart? It's just about time now for you and me to go visit Dr. Tom. Okay? Come on, baby. Off we go. Come on. Off we go. Okay. Come on, sweetie pie. How about, like, right now? That's it. Okay. Oh, that a girl. I'll, yeah, put, yeah. I'll put the bunny over here. That's it. And you come on over here with me. There we go, sweetie. That's and then nice we'll go. Sweet. Robin. Robin? Robin. Honey, what's the matter? We're just gonna go visit with Dr. Tom. You like him. You know, he's a really nice guy. Oh, yes, sweetheart. He is. He's so nice. Maybe he can help you. Maybe... Maybe he can make you feel better, huh? Has she ever reacted to Tom like this before? No, never. Robin? Come on, honey. I get the feeling she doesn't want to leave this room. Maybe. Honey, we're only going to be gone for a little while. Yeah. And then we're going to come right back, and all your stuff and all your toys and everything will be here for you, just like you left it, okay? That's right. No one will touch anything in your room while you're gone. Oh, of course not, because you know what? This is your very own room as long as you stay here, okay? Okay, baby. Okay. Come on, look at me. Come on. I have a really good idea. Why what? don't you come with us to Dr. Tom's office? Oh, that's a great idea. Okay. In fact, would you mind if I picked you up? I haven't picked you up in a long time. Come on. Up we go. Oh, my goodness, such a big girl. Yes, indeed. Don't you get her slippers and uh, my coat, please? That's it. Okay. Up we go. Rough to see the wizard of the wizard in the back. beating around the bush, and please tell me exactly what's going on in your mind. Well, I don't know if it's the right move for me here in Port Charles, but in Florida, I was very successful at hospital takeovers. Yeah, they're doing a lot of that lately, aren't they? Yeah, well, it requires a big investment, but after a year or two of top management, we usually end up in the black, and we usually try and get financially sound men that are also highly skilled doctors to assist in the restructuring of the hospital. Men like you. And they're very hard to find, Alan. Men like me, huh? Yes. And isn't that interesting that you should find a man just like me right here in Port Charles? Well, it requires money. I've got money. And we are well aware of your skill and talent. Well, that's not for me to say. Too modest? Not really. Alan, listen, I was just want... Oh. You know what, Monica? That's why I have a secretary. Sometimes it simply is not convenient to have visitors walk in unannounced. You, well, not me. Um, hello, Scott. Hello, Monica. You look good. Oh, come on. Uh, scrubs here. Well, some women can wear anything and look stunning. Oh, well, thank you. I'm not sure that that pertains to me, but I'll take your word for it. We're in the middle of a meeting, and it's important. Well, that's fine. It's only going to take a second. Well, every second counts. Come on, Alan. Stop being so pompous. Okay, then, Monica. What is it? Well, what it is, is that there are a few people, some, some guys, uh, Tony, Patrick, Tom, a couple of others, that are treating me to lunch at the floating rib. I wondered if you would join us. I don't really have time to mess around with something like that today, Monica. I'm sorry. You don't? Hmm. Oh, well, it's just the fact that uh, there are a few people that are complimenting me on the article that I wrote for the medical journal. You know, I haven't read it yet. Not that I could understand it, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. Well, thank you, Scott. That's more than I have heard from my husband on that subject. Well, I, I am going to get around to reading it one of these days. Oh, well, listen, don't rush, Alan. I mean, it just might be a strain on your eyesight, not to mention your intelligence. It's just a matter of finding the time. 
I see, and you are so very busy, and I am so sorry to have interrupted. Goodbye. I cannot believe how important she thinks that article is. I never realized how insecure she was. I'll tell you what, it's just as well that she's got this fan club from General Hospital. At least it'll give her the feeling she's not walking around in my shadow all the time. That could be pitiful. I don't really think it's pitiful. You know what? If it makes her happy, it makes me happy. Now, um, please go on and tell me more about your experiences in these hospital takeovers. Alan, you're busy. I'm very well organized with my time, Scout. Well, there's another sign of a true executive. Fine. Please go on. Well, the trouble is, I'm late for court. I'm handling one of Jake's clients. I really want to go into this in more depth. Good. Well, let's set some time aside, and we'll talk about it very soon. Okay. So long. Bye-bye.